let me show you what you need to use in the way of probiotics and prebiotics. Stick with me through the end of the video and I'm gonna explain everything in full detail on how you actually need to implement prebiotics in your diet and how you need to implement probiotics and what the actual difference is. There's not enough information out there that truly explains how they work in your body. So before I go into super detail, let's talk about the gut biome in general. It's known as the microbiota and it contains 100 trillion different bacteria. We're talking a lot of bacteria there. These microorganisms have developed a symbiotic relationship with us over time. So it's sort of been an evolution where we are a host and we are providing these bacteria with a place to live and they're helping us by keeping things balanced. And we all hear about the gut flora, we all hear about the benefits of it, but I'm gonna reiterate them again. Essentially, it comes down to three things. The gut bacteria help us with digestion. They help us to absorb nutrients. But additionally, they stimulate what's called the epithelial cell difference. What that basically is, is a fancy way of saying they help maintain a balance of nutrients and a balance of bacteria and organisms within our gut that keep us healthy. And in addition to that, they induce an antimicrobial peptide secretion, which is another fancy way of basically saying they help prevent bad pathogens from affecting us negatively. They help fight off the bad bacteria that can sometime invade our intestinal system through bad food, through bad diet, whatever the case may be. So those are the three main benefits of keeping a very healthy gut flora. Now we have a lot of different things that can negatively impact our gut flora. So the first and foremost is gonna be antibiotics. Okay, whenever we run a course of antibiotics, we're wiping ourselves out. We're wiping out the good bacteria and the bad. Okay, then the next one we have to look at are things like triclosan, something that's contained in hand sanitizer that's been shown to wipe out our gut flora pretty significantly. Then lastly, of course, we have poor diet and increased levels of inflammation that start to kill off the gut flora within our digestive system. So we want to look at how we can rebuild our digestive system, rebuild ourselves with probiotics and the proper use of prebiotics. But to do that, we have to understand what they are. So what exactly is a probiotic? Well, the World Health Organization actually says it best with their official definition of a probiotic, which is live microorganisms that can provide benefits to human health when administered in adequate amounts, which confer a beneficial effect on the host. What that basically means is that probiotics are an exogenous source of healthy bacteria that help us to feel better. Ultimately, the opposite of antibiotics. So if you take antibiotics to wipe out bacteria, then you take probiotics to encourage bacteria or to introduce good bacteria into the system. But now let's look at what prebiotics are. So prebiotics, just like the name implies, they come before the bacteria. And what prebiotics are, are fibers. They are specific fibers that help that gut bacteria grow. And here's the thing, all prebiotics are fibers, but not all fibers are prebiotic. So don't think that you can just go eat a bunch of fiber and it's gonna cause that prebiotic effect. It needs to be something like inulin. It needs to be a specific kind of prebiotic that actually helps the bacteria grow. Think of it as a fertilizer. Think of it as food for the probiotics. So you see what happens when you take prebiotics or you take any kind of prebiotic supplement or eat a prebiotic food. They are fermented in our digestive system by these microorganisms. Now that fermentation process creates a short chain fatty acid. These short chain fatty acids provide energy to the probiotics and to the other organisms within our gut. So essentially, the prebiotics end up making the energy for the bacteria to do its job. Now additionally, what's been found with that is that short chain fatty acids can reduce inflammation as well. So that's where the link starts to come in between a healthy gut and lower levels of inflammation within the body. But the real reason that you're all here is you wanna learn what to do. You wanna learn what to eat. You wanna learn what to consume. You see, and so many of us are told to consume probiotics to help our guts. But what a lot of people aren't telling us is that we need to have that symbiotic relationship between a prebiotic and a probiotic. So probiotic foods you wanna look for. You wanna look for foods like yogurt. You wanna look for foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and even drink a kombucha from time to time. Another thing that I personally like is labne, which is a form of yogurt that's really, really condensed and has a lower lactose content. Then you wanna look at prebiotic foods. And the prebiotic foods are gonna be fibrous foods like asparagus, garlic, onions, leeks, but you want to make sure that you're combining them. And when you look at supplements these days, you see two different worlds. You see prebiotics and you see probiotics. 
but now we're starting to see a new classification that are called symbiotics, which are usually equal ratios of prebiotics and probiotics. So ultimately, a probiotic isn't going to do you much good unless you provide yourself with the prebiotic fibers first. Another thing you want to pay close attention to when you're looking at probiotics is consistently rotating them out. It's another thing that we're not told very often. When you consume the same probiotic over and over and over again, you're allowing the proliferation of one particular strain or a couple different strains of bacteria. You're not getting that balance. You're not getting that homeostasis that is triggered by that epithelial cell difference. We really need that. So you want to switch your brands. You want to switch your strains every now and then so you're getting the adequate balance. And then, of course, supplementing that with the proper prebiotic foods so that those probiotics can actually do their job. So in essence, I want you to think of prebiotics as the fertilizer, as the soil. And I want you to think of probiotics as the actual seed. And together they grow and they make for a happy marriage so that you can have that healthy microbiota, so you can have that healthy 100 trillion bacteria that need to do their job to help you feel your best. As always, keep it locked in here in my videos. If you have any comments or suggestions, please, please open up and put them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video.